Imagine plugging this to your PlayStation or your VR headset, then you have your entire body in that virtual space. Normally, motion capture is a lot of cameras filming these reflective markers you have on your body. And when three cameras can see a marker, it can place it in the room. Our idea was say, if we could take sensors, like in your cell phone, with that data, my friend Anas said, I think we can calculate the whole body from that. Um, that would mean making it affordable, um, make it intuitive to use, and make it completely mobile. Suddenly you could turn any space into a motion capture stage. This suit is made up of 19 sensors. It's collected by a hub on my back. And that hub, so it's a little computer, is transmitting to Wi-Fi. Um, and to any device you have. You can also record actually locally on the hub. So if you're outside without reach of Wi-Fi, then you actually have that data with you at any time. Um, once we had that suit, I sat down with Matthias Sonnegaard, my co-founder, and Anas Klok, the other co-founder. We all quit our jobs, and then we spent the first year uh, bootstrapping. So making the first prototype of the suit with different shows and different content uh, projects that we already had. So for us, it's mostly educating them in how easy this actually is and how many places in their workflow they can use it. We're targeting an industry that's very stuck in a certain way of thinking and a certain way of doing and that has invested millions of dollars in motion, optical motion capture systems already. Actually at the film school, we made this live animation show and at one point, this little boy stood up and just started walking towards the screen. And he just wanted to get in and like be a part of that animated world. After the show, I spoke to his family, found out that he is autistic and can't normally relate to other human beings. When faced with these animated characters, he could somehow open up. In this particular instance, he, was, he felt safe. It connected to some sort of comforting imaginary world where he, where he really wanted to interact. So that just showed me some of the power of real-time interaction and some of the power of what we were doing. And again, just showed me, well, this technology can just be used on so many levels that why, why should it be this difficult? There must be a way of doing this. The dream is that an animator is sitting right at his desk with this on, just saying, okay, I have a crazy idea. Let's, let me test it. And then he stands up, does a recording, sits down again and uses that straight into his film or game or what he's making. It should be that easy.